Hello guys, right, it's Friday morning. Um, <clears throat> I'm done sort of serious trading for the day because uh, I've had my couple of trades and I'm happy with that. Um, but uh, Tim, who I follow on um, on uh, uh, Twitter, is... Um, sorry, I got distracted then. Um, took this amazing trade. I think he made about 30-odd pips, 30-plus 30 pips out of it. Um, but the point I want to make, I mean, it follows all our rules. We've got the... Uh, uptrend here we've got the new downtrend in place I don't know when he actually executed entered the trade but um, he has his own methods very very good methods in my opinion and worth following and trying to glean as much information as you can but um, <clears throat> yesterday I was asked about a 2b reversal that wasn't really a 2b re reversal it was a one two three lower high but um, the point I tried to make, and, and um, I had a bad night last, uh, the night before last, and uh, I apologise if I didn't make it clear, so uh, or as clear as it could be. But this is a perfect, perfect example of what I was trying to say yesterday: is that when you get this close here, this bar here, you are through all the resistance in your way. There are no candlestick highs in the way of price. You know, when you want to look to the left hand side and look to see whether you can find any candle highs. And the only one I can find on this time frame is that. That's the lowest one. Not here, not here, not here. You know, all of these highs are um, above this one. So everything has been broken through. Critically, we've made a trend reversal, but there are no resistance levels on this time frame that we've got the three candle reversal on. A um, bit of a convoluted one, but that would I would suggest is the um, one to worry about. I mean, if you count that as uh, your penultimate, there's the ultimate, there's the penultimate, then you would be trading into this level. So join this one and this one together or this one and this one together it doesn't matter which then you've got your your support break which critically is your trend reversal once you've broken through that it means you've trended through price um, and uh, you can disregard the number of candles there it's all about the um, the uh, break so this would be swing three you'd expect potentially a pullback uh, and then into swing four um, but this was the point of this video look for resistance levels below your um, potential reversal candle if you've got them then um, you know either be really really careful and wait for the pullback wait for perhaps uh, a new low to break that low and uh, potentially break through there so be very careful that's the whole point of this as you can see this followed the rules again uh, clear up trend uh, with a clear downtrend high low lower high lower low that's massively important and um, and then um, the rest as I say just follows the rules as it were massive momentum break through the 20 level there and price just collapsed so that was the point of this video Look for those uh, resistance levels below price on the left hand side and be sure to have closed through them. And uh, as you can see, probably price bounced around these resistance levels as well. I did quickly look at them for a potential target. They can represent areas that you may well get a bounce and obviously if you're scalping you suffer drawdown. Same principle as over here, these resistance levels are what will uh, potentially cause a, uh, a bounce of price and the reason being tests of old resistance once broken by price um, are tested as support tests and retests guys okay so you know this could have bounced off here that's the point with this level if it hadn't closed then it's performed a test and this level has potentially held and price could reverse okay thanks for watching have a good uh, weekend